Naturally competitive, Stambiso was the firstborn of the brothers. He excelled in cricket, rugby, soccer and karate, which he practices to this day. He was so talented that he was awarded his black belt before he was a teenager. And all signs pointed to this passion becoming a career. It's clear that you have a deep love for sports. You studied sports management at the University of Johannesburg. How did you end up in acting? I had an interview on Nolene 3 Talk and I got there an hour early only to find that the producer of Inkaba was there looking for a new character. So they came up to me and they're like, are you here for, I'm like, no, I'm not here for an audition or anything. They're like, would you like to audition? You see, the things about Stemi Sokos, I, I never miss an opportunity. You call me, I'm there. I went and I did an audition and it went well. I was called for only three calls for the character because I did so amazingly well that I ended up doing the entire series. This black belt wasn't about to miss his opportunity to convert Ayanda to karate, though she proved better at some aspects than others. Ever since the age of five, my dad put my brother Nayo Abdul into karate. I love him for that more than anything because karate, the best thing that comes out of it is the discipline. And why not want to live that throughout your life? I'm going to teach you the very first it's called Keke Saich. So say Keke Saich. Keke Saich. Yeah, so keep your hands together. But now a kata, when you scream it out, you go Keke Saich! Woo! So I need you to do that. No, I need you to do it. <laughs> okay. The thing about it is it's the pride in it. Oh my the reason why we shout it out is because okay. you have pride in it. Okay. So you gotta own it. You can't just say Keke Saich. <laughs> Keke Saich! <laughs> No, this is Diana saying Gigi Saich. Gigi Saich! Yay! Finally! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> On the personal front, SK's greatest joy would be to see his daughters Ayanda and Yaya graduate. They are his chief motivation, even if they're not yet old enough to watch the telenovela he stars in. Lele, how did you feel when Dad surprised you at school? I was very happy when I, my daddy showed up on a TV crew. And Yaya, what do you love to do the most with Dad? Um, I love cooking and going to the park with him and watching his shows. SK, it's so evident that you share such a close bond with your kids. I promised myself one thing, I would be there from day one. And when I say day one, I mean from the moment they in their mom's stomach to the moment they get out into life. And more than anything, I want them to feel that I'm there. I want them to see me every day. I can't imagine my life without my girls. <laughs> or his brother, Abdul Koza. The star on another hit drama series, Abdul's creativity is a many splendid thing and now also finds expression in hip-hop. Yo, you know what? I came in here and I was like, you know, I'm, I was watching you guys and I was like, there's yeah. no way I can let you have so much fun without yeah. me being in there. No, of course, of course, man. You're welcome, you know? You know, a lot of people know you as your character, Capella, mm. but they don't know this music side of you, so tell me about it. I've always had a love for music. Um, it's, it's a way of, of, of sharing yourself more. So it's a creative space for me. I mean, I'm releasing an EP with my group, Audio Assassins, very soon. Music is a beautiful way to communicate what's in your heart. So what message are you trying to share? To be honest with you, I, 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 this is my favorite jacket whenever I come to studio, because as you can see, there's my daughter in the back and myself. So when I make music, I always put her first. So even, you know, with the cussing and everything, I know I do hip hop, but I chose I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be the rapper that doesn't swear, because I want to make music for all ages. It's a better message that way, when you can share it with everyone. Guys, it's clear that you have so much fun with Abdul. What is it like working with him? Abdul is one passionate person all the time, always consistent in what he does. So he's an exciting person as well when you work with him. You can never, ever, 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 ever feel pressure when you're with this guy. He's the man for the moment, basically. For me, it's simple. If you can beat him, join him. So he he's he's got he's on to something. Man. Swami he's, here. He's going he's going somewhere. You you got better watch this space. <laughs> Since his first big role on Intersections, drama has become his mainstay. 
At home, we got a picture of the approach to life and work, which won him his biggest accolade. I see you continuing with the positive vibes. You've got the quote of the week, be happy. Does that stay the same every single day or does that change? Well, you know what? I always make sure that I keep positive things on that board, you know, like be happy, love hard, you know, always keep focused. You know, it's things that help me stay positive so that when I also go in there and I'm writing my music, I keep the positive energy flowing, you know. Something that I would keep close to me is that SAFTA over there. Most definitely. I mean, the SAFTA <laughs> is one of my greatest achievements in my craft so far. I was not expecting it, but to actually see that the audience has received my character so well, you know, I, I really appreciate it. With the demands of work, fitness is a routine Abdul practices at home. During his years in the Defence Force and the Fire Brigade, it used to come with a job. Fitness is definitely something that has followed you your whole life, especially coming from the Army, being a firefighter and a paramedic. Um, you know what, uh, it was tough times in terms of uh, physical training. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot being in the army and I learned a lot being a fireman as well. You know, it's a selfless job. It's a calling more than anything. Like it's the reason why I'm able to actually be so humble and, and, and grounded, you know, especially with my father and his influence in martial arts. Uh, it actually taught us a lot. So fitness has just always been a part of our journeys in life. You know? Abdul, being fit and healthy is not just about exercises. How important is a good diet for you? Well, I mean, I'm a vegetarian. So it's something that's very important to me, you know, I make sure that I eat healthy uh, because what you put in, you know, it really affects you in a lot of ways. And with keeping fit, eating well is the best thing you can do for yourself. So that's what I do most of the time. So can we dispel the myth that you can't get this big by just eating vegetables? No, it's a myth. I'll tell you now, elephants are vegetarian. Look at how big they are, you know. So definitely you can get as big as you want. It's just up to you and the discipline that you have with your workouts. Lunch at SK's house was a chance to see what a team the brothers are. Though they're never above roasting one another. Yeah, 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 what? Yeah, 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 yeah. what? How are you, man? Come on, no. How many legs? Guys, I ain't got a ah, haircut. I got a haircut. <laughs> I got a whole tattoo finish. I got a haircut. I got a whole tattoo finish. How long do you guys yeah. take? <laughs> man, we are waiting for you to finish this masterpiece. I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, let's do this. You don't have I'm to tell me I'm twice, bro. <laughs> I am starving. I'm starving, too. OK. All right, let's do this, then. Even if Abdul is vegetarian and his brother wow, not, each is quite prepared to cook for the other, a source of further good-natured sparring. It's clear that you guys have a tight bond, but what was the best thing about growing up together? Basically, just being able to actually be naughty together. We were very adventurous, both of us. Uh, we got scars. We scarred each other, basically. <laughs> we, we just got so much that we shared, you know, in our childhood. So it's, it's one of the amazing things of having someone so close. He's my ride or die since day one. I see Abdul doing all the work. SK, what are you doing? <laughs> do you have eyes, sir? Because I do. You can already see that the there's something going on right now, you know? Come on, guys, haircut, <laughs> tattoo, and still have time to stop the meme. <laughs> I'm already winning. You need to catch up. <laughs> so, so this is what your mom used to do. What is here? I see the baked beans. I see tomato. Is this puree? It's tomatoes that I chop, my man. <laughs> okay, come on now. Abdul, how are, you, how are you looking? I'm trying to convert a whole voss into mince, basically, for this guy. So I've, I've already... You decided to make it. No, but I want to be... But it's fine. You said, I said do mince you. and beans, so it's do fine. You, do you. So right now, I'm going to just let it boil. After that, I'll take it out so that I can start frying my uh, onions and green peppers and start spicing things up so that when I throw it in, everything, you know, is just going to... So you just had to use that voice, and then everything yeah, no, of is going to be... Yeah. Mine will not take that long. Very quick, mm. you know? I'll even put the beans just two minutes before, you know what I'm saying? So you can still hear the when you bite. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you guys both fell in love with acting from as young as seven years old and got to play in a soapy together. What was that experience like? It was actually fun, man. Like, um, we enjoyed ourselves a lot. You know, the fact that we actually are so close, but we actually had to play characters that don't like each other <laughs> at all. 
we killed it. It was, it was weird playing enemies because we love each other to pieces, but we worked well together. As the sons of a respected trade union leader, the guys have grown up with a balanced view of fair wages and conditions going hand in hand with a fair day's work. You guys are clearly men of many talents. This tastes good. Uh, we try, man. I mean, you know, you need to be handy these days. Um, Ubaba was someone who could cook uh, and basically do everything. Like, he'll do the garden, the next time he'll be cooking. So we, we literally were shown by him that you can be a man even in the kitchen, you yeah. know? So we, we're not shy of it at all. And I mean, it's sexy to be a man who knows how to cook. SK, I saw the accolades in Abdul's house, but I have to congratulate you for being one of the finalists in Cosmo's Sexiest Man. What was that experience like? When you are nominated finalist, you are sexy. I'm Come sexy, on. inside and out. You know, I always say we, we don't do things because we want to be impressed. We love what we do, and it's good to get the, the appreciation and the love back, because it's blessings on blessings on blessings. You guys, with all these accolades and awards, what does the future hold for both of you? You know what, soon enough, we'll be able to probably have a production that will actually use both of us, and yeah, yeah we, we look just forward got, to You just gotta ride it into the no, universe yeah. and just put it out there. Well, until then, I guess we can enjoy these amazing meals. <laughs> I guess that. We can do that any day. This is, this is us. So what's for dessert? So. <laughs> <laughs> the icing on the cake is witnessing each other's careers and family flourishing and honoring and passing on the beliefs their parents instilled in them.